Effects of the biggest forest fire in the state of Minnesota has seen in 100 years are still weighing down regions near the BWCA. Four years later, a few trail advocates are still trying to pick up the pieces. Josh Shooter has the story. 100,000 acres of forest in northern Minnesota still stand charred and black after 2011's Pagami Creek forest fire. The fire called the attention of the National Guard after the area was evacuated. They eventually brought in over 500 uh, firefighters. Um, from around the country. While this fire happened four years ago, many of the trails still have to be cleaned up at this once popular Boundary Waters entry point. The small town of Isabella used to be a hub for campers, hikers, and canoers. Now that many of the walking trails are unusable, businesses like the Stony River Cafe and Cabin are seeing a drop in business. The owner of the cafe and the cabin has said his business has been way down, it's been hurting because oh. people are choosing other places to okay. go in. A group of BWCA advisory committee members offered to paint the visitor cabin at the Stony River Cafe. With a boost in aesthetics, volunteers hope there will be a boost in visitors, followed by a boost in trail use. Advocate Doug Rudy says they are working to preserve an important and unique part of the Boundary Waters. If we let it go back to wilderness, a, a great feature of the Boundary Waters will be missing. As we get more and more pressure of people using canoe routes, the, the walking trails are a real sanctuary. In Isabella, Josh Shooter, KBGR6, and Range 11. The BWCA Advisory Committee has mostly been focusing on the clearing of the Powwow Trail a few miles from Isabella.